to the channel. Today we are making chai creme brulee. Yes, chai creme brulee. Well, French might come to kill me, but so we start off by breaking our eggs, not our eggs, chicken eggs. Yeah, start off by separating six egg yolks from egg whites. Later, keep those egg whites because you might need to make yourself some egg white fried rice and then as you can see we have separated six of our egg yolks and then we are going to grab our 900 ml of pure cream emptied in the pot a 900 ml accurate 900 ml that's why i bought like a 600 ml big carton and a 300 ml small one make sure you use all the cream which is inside the carton and then we are going to measure half of our 180 grams of total sugar half as in 90 grams of sugar in the cream pot and put it on gas on high flame and bring it to a boil later we are going to grab our egg yolks and put our rest of 90 grams of sugar in the egg yolk and cream it thoroughly our texture of egg yolk and sugar should be nice and creamy and soft later we will check on our cream stir it because we need everything to be uh, heated properly later add 5 grams of vanilla essence bring our cream to boil in front of camera on purpose and then we are going to add and turn off the gas add 20 grams of tea powder i'm using tata tea here you can use whichever tea is available at your house and empty it in the cream pot and let it steep stir it in and let it steep for like 15 to 30 minutes once the cream is nice and warm nice and warm we are going to temper our egg yolks with the warm cream so it doesn't get cooked or it doesn't curdle and then after the temperature of the egg yolk and cream is mixed or is around same we are going to add the rest of the cream and make sure you use press all the tea powder and get each and every essence or all the essence into your egg yolk and sugar mixture and stir it properly and then we will empty it in our ramekins one by one actually i think it's around six ramekin recipe i only had four so i had to save the rest of the creme brulee mixture and uh, make sure that you skim any foam which is at the top because i think that foam is an enemy it just ruins the texture after the creme brulee is cooked and uh, cover it with foil before placing it in the oven because um, putting putting in water covering it with the foil before placing it in the oven might might be a kind of dangerous act because your water might get into the creme brulee and we don't want it so place it in the oven which is set to 160 degrees celsius pour in your warm water not hot water and here it is your creme brulee should be of this texture it should be jiggly like jelly or wiggly like belly and set it in the fridge for an hour after setting it we are going to torch it with our torch and what so i belong to the thin layer of sugar club if, is there any club i belong to that club because no no thick layer please yeah burn the sugar on top of the creme brulee and uh, this might take some practice First your sugar might burn and that's fine, it will just give a bitter taste and everything but you are learning right? Listen to this. Aha! <laughs> and yeah, custard was nice and creamy. No uh, cooked egg kind of thing or we say curdled eggs. Everything was nice and creamy. I didn't even strain the mixture, you can see that. And, I, and as I was tasting it, tasting it, I suddenly realized that the caramel on the top was complementing the custard. And 
it was not too sweet as i thought that it it will be it was a perfect recipe i think uh, you guys should make it on your kanda poor sessions when you guys will be getting married because serving tea is <laughs>